in today's video, man, I'm gonna talk to you and give you my take on Brittany Griner and her wife having a baby, a soon to be baby. Let's talk about it. Praise to the Most High, Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches, handling that kingdom business. Man, there are an abundance of videos going around on YouTube, you know, about Brittany Griner and her wife having a soon-to-be child, okay? Some of them are roast videos, some of them are cut-down takes, but I'm gonna give you my opinion my take on this all right before i do that man smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so turn your notifications on and if there's anything that's going out going on in the world out there uh that is is in entertainment or in the media and you want me to give my take on it let me know down in the description box so first and foremost man you know I'm gonna choose to take the route of not cutting her down because I know oftentimes when somebody lives a life like Brittany Griner, you know, oftentimes we see when we hear these people tell their story, there's some sort of trauma that's happened, rape, molestation, something like that, okay? Nine times out of 10, that's what, that's some kind of trauma behind there, their father touched them or something. But I'll tell you this, biblically, when we look at and we're talking in righteousness, we don't see that as the example for us to follow. And, uh, you know, I'll say, man, as unfortunate is the, as that is, you know, there's no way for two women biologically to have a child. So what we do know is they had to get a seed from somewhere else. You see what I'm saying? And this is kind of the same thing with the, uh, there's a movement called a 4B movement where a particular group of women in Korea are saying they don't need a man and they're trying to, you know, just reinvent the wheel on that. But this is a, this is a, a, a good case of you know, women that say that they don't need a man, you might not want the physical presence of a man, but when it comes to trying to bring up a child, you cannot do that without a man. And this woman is based, Brittany Griner's right, wife is basically uh, carrying the child of another man, you know, through artificial insemination, you know, through, uh, insemination, I've done videos on that before. So basically they needed a sperm donor. You know, they're gonna have some hard questions to answer when that child gets to a certain age and wants to know certain things, like how come everybody else, the bulk majority have a mom and dad and I got two moms. And either they're going to tell the truth about the lifestyle that they chose to live, or they're going to uh, use some type of tactic to deceive that child into thinking that this is normal. And at one point in time, people that chose to live that alternative lifestyle, man, they were living that lifestyle, but it wasn't uh, a particular community, a group. They didn't have their own acronym. They weren't trying to cancel culture. And still, the majority of the population is a man and a woman when it comes to relationships, when it comes to marriage, when it comes to the union. So this stuff in the last days is gonna be more prevalent. Definitely gonna be more prevalent. But I'll, I'll you know, I'll let you know that, man, people have free will to do as they please. And the most high y'all, allows us to have free will to see if we will choose him. 
and everybody's got their own choice to make. You know, will you choose the most high y'all or will you choose self based upon whatever reasons or justifications that you've come up with to be selfish and choose your will over his will? You know, a lot of people are choosing the route to cut her down and, 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 and roast her and all of this. But I'll say, man, the word says, man, if you are, if you break any one of the laws or commandments, man, you're guilty of breaking them all. So when you think about that, us as humans, man, we have a way of trying to rank sins. Even the ones that the Most High Yah says is an abomination. You know, that means he hates them. He hates all sin, but there's emphasis on certain ones to say that the Most High Yah hates it. And this is where you can't get ahead of yourself and say, oh man, I don't agree. You, you don't have to agree with her lifestyle. It's her free will. And the environment, the choices you make in that free will shape the environment that you have to live in. You know, so for example, keeping your word. If you don't keep your word, that is a sin under the law. You know, most people don't know that. They look at this stuff that the media has categorized and Christianity has categorized as sin and you forget about all the other stuff. Having hatred in your heart towards your brother, towards your sister, that is a sin under the law. So that's the reason why I'm using this as an opportunity to give you my take, give you my opinion you know, and, and not choose the path of trying to cut her down because who knows, man, Brittany Griner could come across somebody who says they have the light. And if you choose the path of cutting her down, uh, showing hatred, you know, is she really going to see the light in you? You know, Messiah spoke the truth, but he didn't move in a manner that was indicative of showing hate. He didn't move like that. And I'll tell you, when we look at Brittany Griner being a 6'9 female, 6'9, you know, for any woman that's that tall, you want, if you don't want to live that alternative lifestyle and you want the best chances uh, of having a, a male partner so you can produce kids the biblical way or the righteous way, meaning a man and a woman, you know, if you're somebody that tall, you're going to have to be extremely feminine and have a feminine spirit. And when I say that, uh, I'm talking about the spirit inside of you to be modest, to be meek. You're not going to be able to be out there like a lot of these women who think femininity is externally adorning yourself and being very vain. No, as a woman that tall, you know, and, and all women, you know, you want to have that quiet and meek spirit in you. You don't want to be very vain and external adorning. And that's just lining you up with righteousness. And we see a, a majority of the WNBA, they choose to live these alternative lifestyles, but you got to look at the sport, you know, the, the, the competition, who they're often in uh, disagreement with, you know, where, what, what level are they trying to get to? And uh, any woman that's six nine is going to have a hard time. She's not going to be able to date like the uh, uh, average height woman because you're, you're, you're tall, way taller than the average. The average man doesn't want to entertain that. That's why I said, man, you want to have that quiet and meek spirit. So at the end of the day, if you are being stacked up with another woman and, and compared and a man has to choose, you got a woman, she might be uh, short, she might be average height for a woman, but she might be masculine in spirit, external, externally vain, and you having that height, that's already coming off as dominant. So you wanna be able to win that battle with having that obedient, that submissive, that quiet, that meek spirit that the book says you should have, to have your best chances, but She's not the only one like that, you know? And they're writing articles uh, on Washington Post about, you know, uh, lesbian couples trying to conceive child and they begging men. I've done videos on that. I tell you, man, the life you choose 
to live and the choices you choose to make in that free will, you know, oftentimes if you make the wrong choice, you're gonna bring tribulation upon yourself. And that's anybody, whether you're straight, you know, or, or living one of these alternative lifestyle. The choices you make can possibly bring suffering and tribulation on you that's not a godly suffering. Meaning you're not suffering for righteousness sake. You're suffering because you followed the way of your flesh. So that's my take on Brittany Griner and her wife having a soon to be baby. Close to the Yard Ministries kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Wow.